So once you have this data model, you're able to do so much with it. As you can see, we were able to make it photorealistic. We can cut into it and spin it around, see how it's made and what the engineering is like beneath the surface. And most importantly of all, by using these powerful tools and visualization methods, we can collaborate with engineering and marketing teams across the world to develop products faster and cheaper. We can blow it up big and look at the details. Or we can home in on an area and look at that. Totally immersive, intelligent communication, which really works on a human level. You see, human beings are perceptually hardwired to understand information spatially in three dimensions. NetDragon is a company which believes that new visualization technologies can improve learning. But education is not the only way that we can use the tools. As we have seen, bringing people together to develop new products and reshape their world is just as big a part of it. We now surround ourselves with clouds and bubbles of apps, Fitbits, online social media, online accounts, etc. And there's, a, there's a, a name for this, it's called the exoself, which is a term that was coined by the science fiction writer Greg Egan. An exoself enhances the power of the mind. So what we're doing is we're building architecture software that taps into this model of the exoself to create teaching and learning versions. Um, we have a teacher who's working at an interactive panel, and what he's doing is he's accessing our curated app store, and he's assembling a totally unique personalized learning playlist as part of his XSL. And, you know, as Leonardo da Vinci lived during the Renaissance at a time when art and philosophy and science were all coming together, I think that we are also at our own kind of da Vinci moment where technology, education, neuroscience, the way we interact with technology, the way we interact with each other is kind of all coming together into a single point of possibility. So what we have been doing for the last 17 years and you know, uh, is to create communities, whether it's a gaming community, mobile community. We are, what we are doing with Promethean is actually we want to create the world's largest learning community. And we're going to create this ecosystem of hardware and software and technologies that we can build our own services and applications and uh, on. But at the same time, we also open it up for all our partners that they can innovate uh, on top of our technology stack which you will see some of the, uh, uh, the application there.